hello all in this video let's see an example for linear block codes okay so the question is generated matrix for an 6 comma 3 block code is given below find the code vector for all the codes okay so the g matrix is given and it's a it's in a matrix form it's a combination of i matrix and you know p matrix and the sub questions are determine the p sub matrix from the generated matrix obtain the equation for check bits this is the second question third question is, third question is determine the check bits for every message vector so this is the question okay so before we uh, try to uh, solve the problem we need to understand the basic concepts in linear block codes okay so before we solve the problem let's uh, uh, see what is linear block codes and let's see the overview of linear block codes okay so in a linear block code if you see like uh, we generally describe you know the, the we give the notation as n comma k but this n denotes the uh, length of the code vector and k denotes the size of the message that's why we say like k is size of the message <coughs> and n denotes the code vector okay so basically you know the code vector is a combination of message and check bits so the length of check bits is going to be the total uh, n minus k okay so the entire thing this is a message which is of k bits and the entire message plus check bits we call as code vector which is of size n so again i repeat you know so the size of check bit is nothing but n minus k okay n minus k we generally call as q okay q equal to n minus k so uh, let's see the matrix uh, description for this uh, linear block codes where x is a code vector we give us m into g where m is nothing but the message uh, matrix and g is nothing but you know the generator uh, matrix okay so x uh, the code vector is of size 1 by n and m is of size k which tells it says k bits and g matrix is of size uh, you know k by n yeah. In matrix form, if you see, we did, we did not, we we did not, uh, mention this as x equal to like you know m into g in matrix form, and this g is nothing but the combination of i and p matrix. Okay, i is nothing but identity matrix which is of size k. Okay, k is the length of message, and this p matrix called sub matrix which is of size k by q. Okay, so. If G is given the question, if G is given, we can easily find what is P because G is a combination of I and P, okay, identity matrix and uh, P matrix. So the formula for finding the check bits, okay, the formula for finding the check bits is nothing but C equal to M into P, okay. So given G, we will be able to find P and we will be using this P sub matrix to find the check bits okay c is equal to m into p if you if you just write it in a matrix form it will be like c on c to up to c q q is nothing but n minus k it will be equal to m on m to etc up to m k and this p matrix is going to be of size k by q like p11 p12 p1 q like p21 p22 p2 q and no etc etc up to p k1 up to finally up to p k okay this is nothing but a matrix you know xr operation like z1 is nothing but m1 into p11 xr m2 p21 etc etc up to mk p okay that's it. that's what mentioned here c1 is nothing but m1 into p11 xr m2 into p21 xr mk p k1 and c2 is nothing but again m1 p12 m2 p22 etc etc up to mk p k2 finally like if you want to generalize for cq okay cq is nothing but mk p1q xr m sorry m1 p1q xr m2 p2q etc etc mk p kq okay Okay. 
so with this understanding okay with this understanding and linear block codes okay let's try to solve the problem okay let's uh, try to solve the problem okay so coming back to the problem the input data that is given is n comma k okay n comma k which is 6 comma 3 so we all know the length of the code vector is n okay n which is going to be uh, 6 and k is going to be 3 okay so uh, yeah 6 comma n comma k is given which is 6 comma 3 and g matrix is given okay so from the formula we can easily understand given g right given g so g is nothing but i matrix i k okay is to uh, uh, p matrix okay so p uh, is of size k by q so this is your i k and this is your like p k by q so the first subdivision is determine the p sub matrix from the generator matrix so generator matrix is given and you all know g is nothing but okay generator matrix is nothing but i matrix and and p p matrix right p k matrix so this is our identity matrix from this you can easily get our p matrix which is nothing but the sub matrix like which is given as p this is going to be 0 1 1 1 0 1 1 1 0 okay it's not anything new we are just going to this this portion okay this this entire thing is going to be a p matrix okay so the we have just solved a uh, found out the subdivision like in the first subdivision determine the p sub matrix from the generator matrix like we have got it yeah good okay the, sub, the second subdivision is obtain the equation for the check bits now what is the equation for the check bits we already seen the equation for the check bits is nothing but c is equal to m into p okay so now we know what is p as we know what is p matrix and you know what is m okay we all know that m is the size of m is uh, 3 because uh, it is 6 comma 3 and the message which is of size 3 so we have m1 m m1 m2 and m3 and c is nothing but you know the 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 check bits where we say q which is of size n minus k which is of 6 minus 3 is going to be size 3 so the the check matrix is also going to be of size 3 so you can write as c1 c2 c3 is equal to m1 m2 m3 into into p matrix so writing the p matrix right as 0 1 1 1 0 1 and 1 1 0 okay so the second question is obtain the equation for <coughs> check bits so so we have we will be having three check bits as you have seen uh, initially this is nothing but you no know, the XR multiplication so we just multiply c1 is nothing but m1 into 0 it's 0 and XR like m2 uh, yeah m2 into 1 XR m3 into 1 so it's nothing but m2 xr m m3 this is your c1 so what is going to be c2 c2 is, c2 is nothing but this row and, and the second column okay for c1 we just use the first column c2 is going to be second column okay so like m1 into 1 so it's like m1 xr m2 here we have 0 and m2 is 0 like then xr m3 right then again we have c3 is nothing but like m1 into 1 so it's like m1 xr like m2 into 1 m2 then again like 0 into something 0 so it's nothing but m1 xr m2 so we have finished we also finished the second subdivision so the second subdivision is like <coughs> no obtain the 
equation for check weights. Now the third subdivision is determine the check bits for every message vector. Okay, so here they have asked us to find for every message vector. Okay, every message vector. So if it's for every message vector, we all know that the length of the message vector is three. Yeah. So like we have possibility from zero 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 to one one one. Okay. So this linear block codes, it's actually an systematic uh, is a systematic form where the out code vector is going to be a combination of you know like message into the check bits. So if you can find the check bits, we can easily find the code vector. Okay. So determine the check bits. So first we will find the check bits for uh, each uh, data. Okay. So let's uh, copy it here in the additional sheet. Okay. So we all know that we all know that you know. Let's take the message M1, M2, M3 for the first is like first bit like zero zero zero. Okay. So the formula for C1 okay is nothing but M2 XR M3. And for C2 is going to be M1 XR M3 and for C3 is going to be M1 XR M2, right? This is the formula which we have seen, okay, here, okay? This is the formula which we have seen here, which we have obtained by multiplication, right? Multiplication. So what we will do? So for message bit 0 0 0 the check bit z1 is going to be m2 xr m3 0 xr 0 okay it's going to be again 0 c2 is going to be m1 xr m3 it's going to be like 0 xr 0 is 0 and c3 is also going to be like you know m1 xr m2 so 0 xr 0 all the three is going to be 0 for for the bit like you know for the message bit zero zero one z one c two c three is going to be like c one is nothing but m two x r m three right so c o x r one is going to be one and for c two it is nothing but m two x r m three so 0 xr1 is again 1 and c3 is nothing but m1 xr m2 0 xr0 zero is going to be 0. So for message bit 0 0 1 the check bits are 1 1 0. Okay. Then for uh, message bit 0 1 0 right uh, c1 c2 c3 is going to be like c1 is nothing but m2 xr m3 okay m2 xr m3 is 1 xr 0 is going to be 1 and c2 is going to be like m1 xr m3 0 xr 0 again 0 and c3 is m1 xr m2 is going to be 1 so for 0 1 0 like you know the, uh, the check bits are 1 0 1 okay then for the message bit 0 1 1 the c1 c2 check bits it is going to be this is your m1 m2 m3 again c1 is nothing but m2 xr m3 right okay 0 and here c2 is going to be like m1 xr m3 it's like 1 and c3 is going to be like m1 xr m2 is going to be like 1 okay then for the message bit 101 one, our c1 c2 c3 is going to be like you know uh, 0 xr1 is 1 for c2 it is like 1 xr1 is 0 and for c3 it is like 1 xr0 zero is again 1 okay then again we have missed for like for message bit 100 zero zero. Okay, uh, C1, C2, C3 is going to be 
like z 0 x r 0 again 0 for z2 it is like 1 x r 0 is 1 z3 it is 1 x 0 is 1 0 1 1 then we like 1 0 like, yeah 1 1 0 okay for 1 1 0 the c1 c2 c3 is going to be like for c1 it is 1 x 0 again c1 and c2 it is 1 x 0 is 1 for c3 it is 1 x 1 is going to be 0 and the last one for the message bit okay the message bit 1 1 1 uh, c1 c2 c3 is going to be like again like 0 because same sign everywhere so it is like 0 xr like 1 xr 1 0 again 1 xr 1 0 0 0 so finally like to write the answer we know for for each message which code vector code vector is nothing but the combination of message and the check bits like here we have seen here a code vector is nothing but your k message bit and n minus b check bit it is a combination so like we are going to combine and write the answer so for message bit 000 the code vector is going to be like 000 the code vector check bits are also 000 okay so for this for message bit 001 okay for message bit 001 like 001 and write the code vector together okay first you write the message followed by the code vector 1110 okay third one is for 010 write the message bit for 010 followed by the check bits 101 okay then for this the code vector okay then for this the code vector is going to be like 011 and the check bits 011 okay again for this the code vector is 101 one zero or is your message and your check bits okay again for this one one oh sorry yeah one zero zero um, the code vector is one zero zero and zero one one okay for one one zero message the code vector is one one zero one one so for the last one 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 the code vector is zero zero zero. So hope you have understood from understood the problem. We have to, we have we have here we have find the check bits and also once you know the check bits for each message, we have we can the code vector is nothing but the combination of uh, message and check bits. Hope you have completed. Once again, we just go through the question. So here, in comma k is given and the g matrix is given and we are asked to find the sub matrix again we have found the sub matrix it's nothing but from the g if g is given like we can find the sub matrix p very easily then if you know uh, the p mat sub matrix p like you will be able to easily find the equation for check bits so this is uh, the formula for the, to find the equation of check bits c equal to m into p like you know then we from this p matrix we are, we are able to get the formula for check bits like c1 c2 c3 and once you know the formula for check bits like you know uh, we, we 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 the third question is determine the check bits for every message vector so for each message vector we are going to find the uh, check bits and by using the above formula like you know by using the above formula and finally our uh, code vector is nothing but the combination of message and the check bits hope you have understood the problem if you have any uh, queries please do ask us